Dude, I don't know if I share this. This is so random. I don't know why I thought of it right now. Someone sent me a DM that they were, hold on, I gotta find it. I screenshotted it. Oh yeah, you probably won't see this, but my boyfriend went to the Ap Apocalypse Barbecue in Miami and FaceTimed me to show me that they were playing Aries Kitchen in the restaurant. And then they sent this picture. <laughs> The picture is so, so funny. I don't know, I thought I had told you on stream, but I didn't. Victoria was the person who sent it. It's so funny, man. I laughed so hard when I saw that. So, just to kind of go over things. We are playing Stray Gods. It's a unique role-playing game that is also a musical. It's a role-playing musical where your choices affect the story, which we've played games like that, and you know how good I am at making good choices. I've never made a bad choice in a game where choices affect the game, not once. And I don't plan on starting today. Will you be breaking in the song? Maybe, who could know? Who could know? I didn't study the words and in middle school band, I pretended to play at the concerts. So I never actually played a single note. So you never know, never let him know your next move. <laughs> imagine, Jul <laughs> imagine Julian getting a scholarship for his no note playing ass. Bro, that would be the con of the century. Get scammed university. I didn't even play my instrument once. I think this is a controller vibe, by the way. I'm gonna use my controller for this game. Agree. All right, so we're playing Stray Gods, a role-playing musical, okay? First ever branching musical role-playing game. I believe a branching refers to uh, the choices affecting the game. Also, yeah, Perry Pisces, thank you for the fastest draw. I'm so sorry that took so long. So, in Stray Gods, no two playthroughs are ever the same because all of your choices make the story happen the way you're dictating, okay? Fully interactive musical numbers composed by Grammy nominated composer, Austin Wintry. Okay. Got an all-star cast of voice actors that you may or may not recognize their voice, but like a hundred percent, you're going to know their voice. We got Laura Bailey, Troy Baker, Ashley Johnson. I mean, come on. And many more. So let's, let's just play. I want to play. Let's do it. New game. From our team all across the world, enjoy the show. I love that. This is so exciting. Game was made on stolen ground. We would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri and Boonwaring. I said that wrong. Peoples of the Kulin Nation and the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Wait, I bet Lizzie could help me here with these pronunciations. Maybe not. Banth is here? Okay. Content warnings. Let's look at the content warnings. Oh, they have a whole section here. Oh, sorry, Lizzie. That just looked like maybe some words that like, I don't know. Okay. No panel. We don't need a panel chat. Confirmed. We're good. Um, Depictions of characters drinking alcohol feature in certain scenes later in the game. Okay. Alcohol use content warning. Depictions of an implied stabbing as well as blood are featured. Characters suffering from PTSD relates to their story concerning being captive during World War II. No explicit descriptions are used. Character dies at the beginning of the game and then another towards the end of the game. That's a little bit of a spoiler. <laughs> uh, themes of suicide, themes of what could be considered suicide are present during a story in the middle of the game. All right, shouts out. We love a good content warning. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. We go. Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma. And where did it get us? Other than bored the band wasn't even looking for anything specific God. we just wanted change we know her we wanted to see who was out there if they'd show up well they showed up all right oh great you know i had a dream where this exact thing happened Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. 
Okay, it was just me. I was naked. Happy 35 I months to my favorite streamer. What's the smartest animal in the ah, world? Ah, uh, you're trying to make me feel better. Happy Maybe we should young. try that? Getting on stage naked? No, no, no. I see what you're doing, Freddy. You're just trying to make me feel better. How about making us feel better? We sat through this too. I'm so sorry you all had such a rough time. Freddy has a bad idea. What else is new? Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> Ooh, you're the best. That's the romantic pick. I'm okay. Not true. No, you meant well. You're the best. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <laughs> I like her hat. Right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't. Don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life. Oh, we got a journal? You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just, I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Sag. At home. Oh, are we gonna sing? Like a boat <gasps> lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Is the world too much or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet. Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free. Okay, pipes. Sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, I just, I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope, you, <gasps> you have this a This is so face. cool. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or? I'm cry chat. Uh, yes. Dude, yes, I this am. is so cool. What the heck? Let's hear it, right? Gotta hear this. This is so actually trippy and cool. Okay. Did you uh, bring an instrument or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> All right. With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief 
From all the promises to many dreams unsung, all the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through like a boat? Dude, this is lost at sea. Though I'm about to All things that lose since when way can find it again. There is no inertia in the ocean. Whoa. Okay. Are we kick ass, clever, or charming? In your face, this grace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. I'm already leaning towards kick ass. Clever, sometimes you need to think your way. No. Charming, this is grace for the soul and charisma. She tries to do the right thing and everyone likes her more for it. Mm. kick ass come on it would feel wrong if we didn't I mean it's right in the middle it's like basically telling us to pick it clever more like sleeper maybe if I paddle hard enough I'll fight the waves try to be tough can I belong to the sea Was that your song was just so wonderful I had to finish it with you I hope that's all right I also know what it I have chills like hearing this right now I like lost. was not expecting this to feel as if you have no place to turn that's why I had to come inside <laughs> peachy has chills too come on. okay um, you aren't here to audition, can't pick that. Oh, because we need to be clever <laughs> to say that sentence. Can I ask what's wrong? I'm glad you did. Have we met before? No, 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 that would ruin it. No, Riz. We gotta say, can I ask what's wrong? Or I'm glad you did? Do we keep it positive, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, let's let's keep it I'm light. I'm glad you did. That was I'm glad you did. I'm glad you both I've did. I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like the music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. I don't know. Joker honest. Uh. Hmm. I think she wants us to be honest. Okay, let's joke about it. You sound like my guidance counselor. <laughs> then I should apologize. No, no, it's fine. There's just 
only so many times someone can ask what's wrong with you before you start to think there's really something wrong with you. But what does she know? <laughs> if only she could see me now, right? I think she'd see what I see. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. And just like that, she's gone. Do you pronounce the E at the end of uh, her name or is it Calliope? How do you say it? I don't know why I'm asking you. I mean, maybe you know. I don't think Calliope, Cal Calliope, 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 like kaleidoscope. Thank you, chat. You're so smart. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Was she Dad? a god? I you'd be this or what whoa? Calliope? <laughs> what? The I didn't know her else. I'm so sorry, Grace. What do we? What do we pick? What happened? Or I'll get help. What happened? Who did this? It... It doesn't matter now. I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please? No, 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 Please no, no. Ain't no way. No, 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 no. What? What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have our goddess powers now? In Greek mythology, Calliope is a muse. Dude, I don't think getting help would have done anything. Okay, fit. Are oh, you a bad um, guy? I can wait. Take your time. I... Who are... There's so many gods! Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um... I came as soon as I could. Wait, we're kind of matching, because... Did you do this to her? Who are you? I don't think we start this off with an accusation. I think we're just like, who are you? You know? Who are you? Who are you? You know? Uh, Keep it casual. Who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, geez, how did you get here? Wait, is this say the number eight? She really is dead, huh? Man. We are matching. So the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but you know. Explain this right now, kick ass style. <laughs> I feel like we I think we yeah, I think we I think we just come on. Oh, uh... You are gonna tell me what's going on right <sighs> now! Whoa. Who are you? How did you get here? What is happening? All right, all right, jeez. Let me go. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me w so far? W god. Cool. Let's go.
the art style in this game is fantastic. Big fan. Uh, who? Uh, where are we? Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. When an no, idol no, no. dies... No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? How do you pronounce their name? Is it Hermes? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh... Not touch anything. Hermes? Is it really? A mixed reactions in chat. Hi, Lonnie. Or is that the designer? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the designer. I read it like the designer. Okay. That one's Troy Baker. Sorry. That's my guess. It has to be, right? Our beloved sister, Athena the of the Muses, has passed on to you. Our oh, seven new cow. sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's a uh, grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Who are you? Someone died in my arms. Where is this? Goddess is in your area, chat. How Look respectfully. Get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. Hermes. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Speak. Aphrodite, Sorry. goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. Wait, gods are real and you live here? Hmm. I don't think we do that choice. We definitely be we we believe it. We're here, you know? We're we're here. Gods are real. I like and you live here. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a on top of a mountain. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls and now fashionably appointed apartments we have wi-fi <laughs> w god wi-fi we move with the times grace hell. we have to if we're going to remain hidden and survive the mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century television <laughs> i do what i must wait you said and hermes said that I'm a god now, too. And an idol. That is true. That... That thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon. The part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol. Which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason With our powers here, combined, Grace, chat. The reason why we made you wait so long while we debated is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to No, die. no, 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 I don't want to die. Like hell I do. 
Deny, deny. Yeah, what, what question? You wanna get back in? Okay, come on. This is Little Miss Athena in dog form. A little mini goddess of wisdom. So wise. Deny. What? I didn't murder Calliope. She was already hurt when she banged on my door. So you say. I just met Calliope last night. Why would I kill her? Why would you even think that? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But isn't it? Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! You cannot hide from this reality. I'm not hiding, though I'm a little lost here. If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. Have usurped a muse? No recourse to be arranged. But it's unfair, I know. But our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she. You must know. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? Now that the muse is gone, now that she's gone, I'm afraid you'll have to see. That one's little Lexi. I disagree. <gasps> Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but... I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> and what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? I want to prove myself. I don't want a trial. Or wait, oh wait, maybe we find the truth. Because we know it wasn't us. Mm, prove myself is pretty kick-ass, but like, finding the truth is... is mm, let's find the truth. There has to be some way to find the truth. Aren't you gods? Couldn't a god, if, I don't know, He's like, what? We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think w. so. Yes. W. Aphrodite. Come on, Lexi. Fine. Let's go. And there we have it. How do I prove my innocence? So I live? Nah, we know we're alive. We know we're gonna live. I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? 
Can we get to sing along? Hannah, get in Discord. You can sing along like with me. I to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh, our original verdict stands. Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. I knew you were going to say that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities. They cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the Chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Let's go, they got cookies! I bet they're bomb. Damn, dude, I couldn't be a god. I can't eat gluten. All right, time to head home. Oh. oh we have one choice. Grace's apartment. Dude, this is so fun. Grace? Grace. Uh, hi. 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace... <sighs> we thought something happened to you. We... Did something happen to you? Should we just, like, take the first opportunity to, to break one of the rules and lie? Uh, became a god. <laughs> no, that's too chaotic. I mean, maybe. <laughs> we might die, though. <sighs> I f okay, so here's the thing. Like, if we if we just... Personally, I can't lie, right? So if I'm playing this like I would, I would straight up... I would come out with it right away. <laughs> but if, if we... Here's my thing. Like, if we lie, all of our friends are going to, like, be in our support corner and they're going to try to help me and we're just going to be lying the whole time so they can't help us. But if we tell them... We're like, hey, <laughs> I'm a god now. And we need to find the god murderer who killed Cal. Help me. Then we have a squad to help us with this. Otherwise, we're just alone and we have to keep lying to our friends. She'll just think you're joking. Well, also, like, another thing is, like, Athena's like, don't tell anyone. Is that a, is that a trap? Like, won't they know if the words come out of our mouth? They're gods. They probably can hear us right now. Or maybe not. Maybe they're on their Wi-Fi. Let's just lie. I mean, no, let's just let's let's break the rule already. Yes, but you are serious. We're breaking not the rule right, right away. Oh, First one of chance. Those nights, huh? Well, it better be good. I became a god, Frank. Lexi. <gasps> With real. the 69 months, nice. Can you we get some nice and chat night. for Lexi? Happy early birthday, Lexi. Why and you're in this game, phone? Lexi. Okay, so so what exactly are you the god of? Late night lattes, skipping bed practice. Uh oh. Oh my god. I'm just gonna say I don't know. <laughs> what was that? <sighs> I don't think it works that way. Or at least they didn't say. What the god doing? They who? The other <laughs> gods? Did you just come from a god convention? Those things are such a scam. Hi there. Uh, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Um. Shit. Is that Ares? Oh. Sharon, Sharon, 
Chiron? How do I say it, chat? I need help with these pronunciations. Chiron. Okay. What do we say, though? I told you I'm a god. Another god. Or good question. Let's just say good question. Honestly, Let's play dumb. As good as mine. It's Pan. To answer your question, my dear, oh, you this see Pan. the horns because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? Why does everyone but know Greek the gods but me? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. Those glasses are slay. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? It's a gay thing. Were you sent here? How can you help? Can we talk in front of Freddy? Huh. Like, can she hear us have God conversations? God-versations? Hmm. I'm curious if they were sent here, though. Why did he put his head under the faucet? <laughs> I need to know that. Why is that a choice? Sir? <laughs> Why did you do that for? Like a goat. Were you did sent Athena here? send you? She didn't say anything. I, I kind of assumed. That you're on your own? Yes, you'd think she'd do a better job of explaining the rules, wouldn't you? But no, I'm here of my own volition. Purely out of the kindness of my immortal heart. There's Actually. so many amazing voices. Immortal? In Wait, who's immortal? I'm sorry, I'm lost here. Calm down, Freddy. Can we talk in front so of Freddy? So we can just talk about this. In front of Freddy. Here I thought you'd already informed her of your situation yeah but i don't think she believed me <laughs> yeah i didn't i don't um should i the prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world she's not the mortal world is she she quite she literally is you. the mortal world can't she why do i have the feeling that i'm gonna regret not leaving with brian and kaz oh i can guarantee it uh, okay freddie have a seat Let's talk. Huh. That's it? Huh? That took I two guess. hours? <laughs> okay. do I could have done that in like three minutes. Believe in this, Grace? I hope it's all a dream. I kind of like that one because it like sort of removes us of any, you know? Agency, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe we're dreaming. <laughs> uh, it's probably a dream. I'm still hoping I'll wake up. This feels like one really long, really bad dream. I don't know. Isn't it cool to be a god? If it is, the cool part hasn't happened yet. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. W friend. You're the absolute best. Mm, is it time for romance? We're still thinking about Cal, you know? Like, it's a little too soon. I'm sorry to get you involved. Nope, not sorry, because we literally got her involved the first chance we got. You're taking this well. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh... Mm, be gay? Mm. What if I just did this for two hours? What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the trekking down of supernatural Be gay, powers. do god crime. Such darling camaraderie. Bro. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. 
speaking of killers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you know about us? Why is he even here? He's he's obviously the first potential suspect, right? Because, like, why is How he here? How did you know where to find me? Or know about me at all? You said Athena didn't send you. Why, I want to know why he put his head under the faucet. If you must know. Very useful, those little birds. I want to hear him sing. He's not going to tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. I mean, the chorus kind of was obtuse. Yeah, what's in it for you? So you're here purely for my sake then? Go on. Like a charity case? Be my honest. My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, uh, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. Hmm. Little gaslighty. Tell me your advice. Okay, I'll I don't bite. care, tell me. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. That sounds pretty cool. That does sound kind of cool. Like I'm some sort of rock star idol. That is it precisely. You draw music out of others, Grace. Not only with inspiration, but physically. Magically. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel. Alive. Powerful. Ah, damn. Grace, you know that you're lost now. Oh my god, his voice. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? Ah! Why not? Whoa! Ah! Uh, roll with it! How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had. And you say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. Are those really actual horns? Whoa. And this singing is so hard to swallow. <laughs> I know. Can you hear me, Grace? What's going it's on? Song. So sorry you had to be here for this. I'm in the dark too as you're hearing this. Like I know that I'm in full control. Cause the words and the tunes I feel here in my soul. If this is a power, I'm not overthinking it. If this was a drink, I'd be drinking it. But someone is dead and I'm losing my head Like the goat said Mars. This is my time, time to shine This is my time, time to shine Grace, nothing 
nothing makes sense here and won't the carpet be covered in fleece and you said someone died here I don't know away, then just call the police I got this Can we all loosen up now Remember this madness is happening to me this Yeah Pan is the goat to me somehow. No he's like literally the goat he's not like not like he's the goat, like he's a, he's a goat. Is that gonna be here all the time? How dare you? You don't know me. If she has to be, pass me some wine. Grace, is this how you let straight just Nah, we gotta side with Freddy here. Freddy looks out for me, always been my friend. You're a bipedal something, what are you again? I'm the guy who can help you along. I'm the girl who can help sing her song, cause it's my... Rip out a solo? No, no, no. They got a bond. They got to sing together. Grace, I'm frightened. It's okay. I think they I sing together. <laughs> Chemistry is not fully there yet. Let's yell. Or me. That's it. Shut up. This is a wreck. If I had four hands, I'd grab you both by the neck. This is my life, and it's happening to me. If we can't work this out, it's just gonna be my time. Time to shine. Sorry, Freddy. If you're forcing me to choose, well, <laughs> I chose Pam. I guess I've got to go with Pam. <laughs> you're kidding me. Can't you see who he is, Grace? I need him, Freddy. He can help me. As opposed to me, who's of no help whatsoever. <laughs> that, my dear, is the power of a muse to draw out the truth from within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in <clears> your. <throat> Investigation. Chat, if you think I made the wrong decision, go ahead and click that link, download the game and play it yourself. Make sure you use the, the link in the command. <laughs> uh, um, I think so. So I can make people do anything? If I meant you could make them do anything, I would have said you could make them do anything. No, Grace. You pull truth from within. But it is their truth, and not yours. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. You find this helpful? Grace, he just, he oozes. Ugh. Grace is not wrong, dear lady. <laughs> I don't like how he talks. I am the most <laughs> benevolent of benefactors. For all your powers, I should have picked neither. I should have just gone solo. Search. There was so little time to choose. Provide. An address in the city where Calliope was staying. That's helpful, though. That's helpful. That's a lead. I feel like this game has crazy replayability to it. Now nah, you wanted to pick him? Nah, <laughs> chat. Should have led with that. You have Calliope's address? You should have started with that. And miss all the dancing? Nonsense. Bro just likes chaos. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Thank you, Pan. Now get out me way. Got a murder to solve. Well, I guess that'll help you. It's weird to think of a god with a home address. You're not coming along? I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose. No? Uh, 
I'm not worried. No worries, I got this. Oh? Whatever my magical song powers can't handle, I'm sure a boot to the head will. <laughs> I see. I need to find Kaz and Brian, just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. She rocking one coat black for sure, for sure. Muse hideaway. Let's go to the Muse's hideaway. Damn, I miss Cal already. Oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. Damn, okay, around. art collection. Whoa, whoa, I want to look at all of it. Let's look at... This really doesn't need to be a controller game. I think I could play a keyboard and mouse. Hmm. The Warhol painting is cool. Let's look at the light. Stare into the sun. After Calliope left the audition... Do I ever stare into the sun? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Andy Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. So many instruments in here. Oh my God. Is the guitar like chat. Elegant painting. Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. Big shout out to all the subs coming in. Thank you all. I'm going to read them after with the playthrough, though. Right. These aren't... Do I inherit these as the new muse? Is that even okay to ask? <laughs> Damn, she really said, Kai of your room when you die. <laughs> if it's a Blathers. Of course there's a giant harp. That man, that man is a hoarder. I want to believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't like his muse or... I don't see anything useful down here. Maybe there's something upstairs? Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average every day. There were only three muses, you know. <gasps> Apollo's here! Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on the right one, take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. You scared me and you're Apollo. What? No. Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing sitting here in the dark? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, Being ripped preparing your in a chair. Monologue? I'm grieving for a dear friend. If I'm sorry, ask, that was insensitive. How did you find this place? 
What are you doing here? Oh, do we reveal our sources? <gasps> They're not just here to grieve. Wait, can we not pick these? <gasps> oh. We can't choose these because our personality is kick-ass. I need answers. <laughs> Why do you think? One week to prove my innocence, remember? Yeah, I do remember, yes. This is Calliope's home. Seemed as good a place as any to start. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. You and Calliope both deserve better. Why did you speak up for me is interesting. I, I do want to know more about Calliope, though. Hmm. These are all good. He's so hot and upset. Never mind his yiddies, his dogs are out. <laughs> his dogs are out. His his Greek god dogs. I should thank you for, you know, speaking up for me. It it wasn't right what they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I'm not disputing that, Grace. I just don't think that I'm the one to help you. Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul. If troubled. Troubled? <laughs> Bro. I thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, all of us, that we needed to change. We hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. I'd rather not talk about it. Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. Y you've already met Pan? How odd. <laughs> it's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. This room is a mess. Did you do this? With this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? <laughs> I didn't think much of it. I can't it was like this when I got here. Not to search through her things. That end, it's, uh, it's cleaner than my place. <gasps> so you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. Nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is nothing. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> Why not? I can't do this. I don't have anywhere else to go. Meaning? Meaning I'm not leaving until you give me something. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't literally life or death. But I need to know what the problem is. I, I haven't sung in centuries. Come on. According to Pan, I can't force Come anyone on. to do anything. Come on. Belt it.
phantom pains from the listen up chat behave and listen feeding thoughts thoughts that never end what did i do what didn't i do these two singing together i can't handle it i actually can't fucking handle it sorry sorry i said the bad word <laughs> Long gone thoughts, oh! but they're never dead. What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? <gasps> need to get faster with these choices. Do they have aim laps for this game? Background is so cool. expect me to do athena called you the god of prophecy didn't she isn't that telling the future <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need grace it'd be helpful if explain, you could explain why why exactly this is all new to me remember yes of course that's true it's so easy to forget that 
To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. Uh, that was a lot of words. <laughs> it doesn't sound helpful. You're right, that sounds like it wouldn't be much of a help. Even to you. Well, I've dared prophesy too many times. To know what comes and then be unable to do anything about it. Yeah, I get it. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy related? Uh, not directly, but... Yes, possibly. Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. We go. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. And, and excuse the mess, I... I don't get many visitors. Damn, Apollo living in squalor. Let him cook. Aren't idols rich? Our idols Let's roast them. Broke? In all those years, you couldn't <laughs> save up enough money to afford a housekeeper? You know, I guess I never worried about it much. Maybe I should. Damn, you money doesn't matter said to him. I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. He's he's tortured. Um, do you know what an oracle is? Orchard. Oracle. Is this like derogatory for an oracle? Should we say not really? Is this like offending them? Not really. I don't know. I don't know. Let me guess. Another idol? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here? There is. <sighs> what? I have brought someone to see you. Do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. See? They would have been upset if we said that. Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. I didn't know. Oh, sorry. I I'm sorry, didn't know. Sorry, blame him. He said you might. Oh, he's just manning I know it up in said. here. Paul thinks just because I crashed yeah, this will be on here, YouTube. he can interrupt me whenever he pleases. I mean. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it. I ask very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. <sighs> Fine. Look at your abs in a twist. <laughs> okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? You keep, you keep calling saying him Paul. Paul. Do you mean Apollo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, blah, Paul. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> such but a funny nickname. you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. I love calling him Paul. That's wild. Calling the god Apollo Paul is wild. You're good with computers? So you're we an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. She got Discord right here? The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for Discord. fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an ethernet cable. I don't know what that is. Paul! 
is the 21st century Paul. You can't and your 21st century operate Oracle needs her on some Wi-Fi like speed, this. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, the Oracle absolutely destroys me and Val. Um, why does Paul not have an Ethernet cable? Like he has a well kept Monstera, but he can't get an Ethernet cable for the Oracle. Come on. Okay, Paul. Oops. You live here? Do you live here? I crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. The Greek squad. See the way he talks. I thought maybe he was a creep of hers, <gasps> That's but... funny. Who said that? Paul's I. Greek squad is funny. <laughs> the highest Mittens, of that's good. Damn, He'd that is good. be more all right if he did some laundry. Oh, wait, no, Mittens, it was Dr. Link. Okay, sorry. How well do you know Paul? I don't care about this. I'm Just looking give for me information info. about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, I've been checking that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here, hold up, I'll show you. Okay. There. Respectfully, it stinks in there. The apartment was originally purchased. Hundred percent stinks in there. Two years ago, by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Oh, I see. That would be Persephone. Persephone is in the one from the chorus. Uh -oh. The one who wanted me dead, Persephone. I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for. Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. I, I, I would rather or go alone. you could just tell me where she is and I could go alone. You don't have a membership, Grace. You won't get in on your own. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least Ugh. once today. Perhaps Boomer. We'll walk. Yeah, yeah, Let the sure Oracle will. cook. They're we grinding comp. He's way older than a boomer. <laughs> He's like a thousand years old. Um, Where do we... Okay, Underworld. I just met a world. Ooh, cool little bar. Welcome to the Underworld. Wow. How have I never heard of this place? Persephone keeps it a secret. While still managing to draw a crowd every night, don't ask me how. Here in the underworld, idols can be themselves, even if they don't look human. Persephone runs a nightclub called The Underworld. It's a little on the nose, isn't it? Maybe, but <laughs> I wouldn't say that to her. Still, it seems like a weird thing for a god to do. We all get through the years somehow, Grace. If we're to find Persephone in all this, we'll need to split up. Have you considered what you'll say to her? I'll fight all her. All I know I is if to. she's spoiling for a fight, she'll get one. It might come to that, I suppose. You're not going to try to stop me? Sometimes strength is the only thing Persephone respects. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise, be careful, Grace. Oh, hey. 
You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here. Though. These fits are out of control. Oh, excuse the manners. Name's Eros, god of sex. <laughs> Wait, did you did you say that you just you're the god of sex? <laughs> Desire, really. <laughs> Sensuality, attraction. Why? Were you expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow? <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't. I actually preferred Cupid, but Pan had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Okay. All right. What are you doing here? The god of sex at a you club. You up to? Looking for someone? Hmm. One, so might Is he using his powers well, already? I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections. They bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. And you enjoy that? I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. Make it happen. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way. They'll value it more. You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. <laughs> sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't thinking. But you hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries. It may as well be true. So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. Hero! That's right. A long time ago, she took care of me when I needed taken care of. The mortals, they just assumed. These days, well, it's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all, Aphrodite. You seem a little distracted. Let's keep this conversation going. Is everything okay? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. Hmm, that obvious, huh? Truth is, I don't come here that often. No, it's hard to get away. I just want... No, never mind. You can talk to us. I'm willing to listen if you need to talk. Oh. Any minders if he keeps that. talking? Maybe some other time. We tried. Here's the thing. I'm looking for Persephone, but I can't find her anywhere. Hmm. Well, I know where she is, but I question whether she'd be happy to see you. Look, I like you, but Mother told me what happened at the chorus. I don't want to cause trouble with Persephone. She's that scary, huh? It's not that I'm scared of her. Well, maybe a little. You haven't been around long, but once you have, you'll learn that idle grudges are forever. I don't know Persephone well, but considering what I do know, I don't blame you. I know it's lousy, and I'm sorry. I hope I can make it up to you someday. Damn. No information. I'll see you around. I count on it. Thanks for the show. Uh, thanks for the conversation, Eros. Not the show. Thank you for the conversation. What's Pan up to? What's the goat up to? Just grabbing on people? As I live and breathe, if it isn't our dear me. Why he talks so much louder than everyone else? Hi, Pan. <laughs> Tell me, 
Have you decided to leave He's your so troubles loud. behind and join us in the land of shadows? Stop and yelling, Pan! <laughs> you must know why I'm here, right? Let me guess. You seek our sweet natured proprietress. Can you help me find her? Uh, work, work, work. Helping people is all I do, all day long. As a complainer. This, however, you want me to throw myself at the mercy of a lioness. You ask a great deal, Brace. Do thought I... we were homies, man. Here I thought we were friends. I did choose you over Freddy. You did. My hooves still tickle with delight at the memory. Don't say who's so, a tickle. Don't say that. Friends help friends, don't they? Oh, you learn quickly, Grace. I'll give you that. All right. Once you're ready to go, I'll take you to our sweet Persephone. Don't say that unless you're talking to Tay. <laughs> Just not, not for I us. really appreciate it. Do keep that in mind after you've spoken to her. Hermes. Whoa, you're here. I mean, you gotta be somewhere, but you're here. Hello, Hermes. <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing. Didn't really have a choice, but eh, sorry anyway. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> we'll see you around. <laughs> if you die, then for sure. But uh, don't die. Good talk. Good talk. Let's just go straight to Persephone. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who- I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. To wait until your guilt was certain. And yet here you are, in my domain, uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be Bro, afraid? Bro, why are you so mad? You don't have proof. I didn't do anything. What's your problem? What is your problem with me, exactly? You've had it in for me the moment you saw me. My had it problem? In? I thought it was had it out. <laughs> my problem is that I'm filled with questions, Grace. Filled to the brim. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? We literally, we literally sang a duet That's and then she my problem, perished. Grace. With you. And you can't make it go away. You, okay, Persephone, you need therapy. Fire with fire. I've had enough. Should we yell? I need your help, Apollo? Nope, not the answer. Are you a spy? Yeah, you could be a spy. That would definitely make her more mad, though. That's it. I'm done talking. Grace, I don't think Forget this it, Apollo. She's spoiling for a fight, so why not give it to her? Oh my so god. It's a challenge after all. Them. Here we go, we gotta make fast choices. A lost little girl. You shouldn't have come here. And I sure ain't in the mood to Bro, do you always have to look bored? Go home, little girl. The shadows draw near. And you all alone, we both know how this can be. 
Pebo sucks. We all know how this ends. Hope everyone's having a great night. I guess I'm this evening's sacrifice. But I'll see what I can do. You deserve a good show. Big hand for your usual MC. She's planned a brutal takedown just for me. Hopefully I'll last a couple rounds. You deserve a good show. I won't let you down. My, my, we caught a butterfly. Such a delicate thing. What a find. I hope she doesn't mind when we pull off her wings. Maybe you don't know who I am. Maybe you don't know who I am. Try hard. Why would I come here to start a brawl? I'm just running out of time, is all. If it's true that I'm just lost and small, why are you keeping your guard up? Oh man, you stole that from Pan. What a <laughs> Bro's creeping. No you, no point of view, kid people have paid. We have seen a whole lot of bands. I know what a song second band. Maybe I'm the star. Respectfully, I think we get our ass kicked if we try to fight her. What are you trying to prove? And to whom? You ate a pet seed. That's not on me. Rotten too long. Blossom oh, that's what we want. <laughs> from any of you I was alone when you know who kidnapped and crushed all my dreams I don't think I don't think you can fix her I'm sorry I just want Calliope back Does the sound of a pin drop ring any bells is this what you do because this is hell you want to read the room this isn't their thing you're doing winter they want spring say my name say my name say my name Is that enough, Persephone? Do we need to go another round? Just tell me one thing. What prompted this little visit of yours? We went lie. to Calliope's apartment, and we know that you own it. I see. Follow me, then. Calliope came to me years ago. She'd grown tired of arguing with the idols, tired of being branded a troublemaker. She couldn't watch the idols wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt, so I gave her the apartment.
This game with the eye tracker would be wild. So you must know better than anyone what she's been up to. Not exactly. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment and turned it upside down. I had to know the truth. That was you? I didn't find anything. Nothing to say what she had been involved with, or, or gotten into, or who she might have been fighting with. So what now? Do you still think I'm guilty? The jury's still out on whether Calliope chose you. Actually, me with the eye tracker would be just reading the subtitles. No. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that's Grace. That means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. One of us. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Despite how we might look, it's not a simple matter to kill an idol. It was difficult enough to believe you had done it. If another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. Oh, this is interesting. Did did Cal have enemies? Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. Uh oh, what? something's there. What am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be argumentative. Yes, but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Not that you or I know of, apparently, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. What about magic, though? I'm curious about that. We ask about magic or ask about Athena being the killer? I want to know about magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? You can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation, and yet magic is beyond belief? Well, sure. I just thought. We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but true magic is a different and older power. Hecate's domain. And it was of no use here. We shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Okay, okay. Didn't give us a ton of information. Let's ask about Pan. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? I have to wonder what his angle is. He has one, that's for certain. Though I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. Still, we should consider the idea. For him to show up so quickly is... odd. What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring me guilty, don't you think? Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well... Teacher's pet. Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. She'll eventually drive us all mad with her vigilance, but break her own rules? I don't see it. I worry about accusing them of being suspects. 
Because we just got Persephone on our side. Mm. Couldn't we go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus. Athena would be sympathetic, but the die has been cast. She won't go back on the edict, not without clear evidence. Oh, now you want evidence? She acted on the information she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know the idols. Don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Did you now? What's up, Narnia? Mm, that's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Says the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope died, Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muses meant to me? Well, I'm not giving up. That's right. You heard me. Maybe it's easy for you to throw in the towel. <laughs> Why not? Your life isn't at stake. But I'm gonna fight. If I have to kick every ass on Olympus, I am getting through this. Calliope, I'm listening now. Tell us what and you were doing to. Exclamation stray gods if you're curious about what we're playing, y'all. Blinded by fire, one match did you strike that consumed. you blame her what could she have done to earn such a fate you are blinded god of the sun hides from his own eyes what would you know about fate you say that you knew her she was family to us yet you don't hesitate to accuse her oh queen without a throne go bitter with fury not everyone seeks to betray you stop this There's more to see. Apollo, your help is not needed here. Go ahead and abandon another muse. How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandon me to a, a terrible, terrible fate. fate. You replay your injuries it's till it's too late. late. You know how far I've been before I, I snapped. This, this is, is not about you. you. This helps no one! Ah, I should have clicked the other the one. We go Persephone. We have to. Now that Apollo isn't sucking all the We've dealt with room, enough, Paul. Perhaps we can get somewhere. He got a bit scary. Was all that necessary just as well? Was, was all, all that, that really necessary? Was it? His reaction wasn't great, but you did provoke him. It wasn't my finest moment, but you saw how he transformed. Apollo likes to pretend he's not the man he used to be. But behind that sad facade lurks exactly the lout I remember. I'll admit the problem Dude, you present. Dude, imagine learning English. Man. The word facade is if probably just is such death, a curveball. I need time Sorry. to formulate a plan. You've decided to help me then? I wasn't sure you would. Well, what should I say? That I've changed my mind? That Calliope might have chosen you after all? No, it's just... You have fight in you. You've taken quickly to the Muse's powers. It's possible that she saw the potential. So yes, I'll help you. If, however, this has all been a desperate deception... 
Well, let's hope it doesn't come off that. Ooh, we drinking? We have a romantic option. this better than fighting with you way better helping you rather than wanting you dead you mean you seem like a woman who gets what she wants these days yes then i'd Rally really swig. rather have you on my side wise choice the tone has shifted what should Tell i do while you're do. formulating i don't like sitting on my hands yeah, I've noticed. If you wish to keep busy, burn down the city, <laughs> start a revolution. <laughs> Thanks, Dana Lee. Thank you for the Become a terror the likes of which mortals only dream. Um, really? No, Grace. Go home. Be patient. When you see me next, I'll have a better idea of what to do. Good drink sounds. What a day, what a day. Finished act one. <gasps> Whoa. Uh oh, hey, Freddy. Freddy's pissed. Hey, is, um. Did we get intermission? Is everything okay? Are they, they got wine and cheese? Not really. I felt like crap after you left. I don't know why I acted like that. I just had this image of you being swept off into some new world without me we could be a player i never leave you behind oh my god Grace got too much riz, I think. I'll never leave you unless Persephone's around. Or Eros. <clears throat> I'd never leave you behind. I would never leave you. You know that, right? I'm the still whole day ready just and willing to be you. your high priestess, <laughs> if that's what it takes. <laughs> if you could just help me get through this next week, that'd be plenty deal why don't you start by telling me what happened tonight i'll never leave you but i gotta go <laughs> i gotta go huh. uh right, like, right persephone now. runs a club called the underworld that's a little on the nose that's what i said and you ended up staying with her instead of apollo i don't know grace she sounds a little volatile <laughs> this is this is Not so bad. She's not so bad. At least with Persephone, you know. We could all get along, stand. you know. I guess. Wow, she just sounds so different from the myths. Let's about just be her. gods about this. So, what are your options? You need to go back to Persephone at some point. At some I point. I could go back to Apollo's as well. Make sure he's not sore about what happened. Oh, and uh, there's this. Pan left a card. Says, "Come by Olympus." <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. I miss Paul. Mm. He's probably doing the exact same thing he was when we were with him. What could he want? Huh. I wonder what he wants. Probably to cash in his precious favor. Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't help it. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and Pan that's be creeping. what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse! Oh, the embodiment of inspiration! Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. 
Finally, we have some choices. Let's look at our journal. Okay, okay. Freddy. Oh, there's lore. Okay, lore. Edge of Elysium is her band and inviting me in was her idea. Okay, so we're in a band together. Freddy was at the apartment when Pan arrived, so I had to tell her about everything. Hmm. She felt bad about how things went down with Pan. I guess I have to keep in mind that my song power draws things out of people. Okay, Calliope. I know Calliope was one of the muses, but that's really about it. I don't know where she lived, what she got up to, or who her enemies were. I have so many questions. For one, what was she doing when she found me at the gymnasium? Was she just passing by, or did she plan that? How did she know where I lived? I keep thinking about what Calliope said to me before she died. She seems so sad. Did she know this was gonna happen? Most of all, why did she pick me? It appears Cal was staying at an apartment, one that belongs to Persephone, of all people. And it's actually not far from mine. Could that be where Cal was attacked? Am I crazy for agreeing to go check it out by myself? Calliope was one of three idols called the Muses, the last one still living, according to Apollo. Once they were his constant companions, but in the last few years, they grew apart. Calliope was angry at how the idols had lost their way and apparently argued with everyone a lot, which doesn't sound like the Calliope I met at all. If it's true, it means she wasn't the most popular idol and there may be more suspects than I imagined. I visited Cal's apartment. It was gorgeous, filled with every musical instrument you could imagine and memorabilia dating back, I don't know, a hundred years or more. She had everything she could possibly want or need at her fingertips. Is this what it means to be the muse? Apparently, after years of arguing with the idols and making everyone angry, Cal finally left Olympus, and that's when she became friends with Persephone, who gave her the apartment. However, Persephone says they haven't spoken in two years, so she doesn't know what Cal's been doing lately either. Huh. Very interesting. So they were close, and then they drifted apart in recent years. Like, part of me thinks Persephone's, like, um, not overreaction, but, like, kind of chest puffing a little bit about, like, you did it, I'm angry, is, like, maybe that's covering because she knows something. Maybe because they had drifted apart, there was something there that Persephone could have known about or knows about now. Hermes. Hermes is the idol who came to collect me at my apartment when Calliope died. I didn't know their name at the time, of course. Athena only mentioned who they were afterwards. I guess they're the god of doorways, maybe. <laughs> I wonder if they can go anywhere with that power. Into bank vaults on top of a mountain across the world. Pretty wild to think about. Could Hermes have really been involved in Calliope's death? They seemed surprised, if not really broken up about it. Not that Hermes strikes me as someone who does much deep thinking. They seem more like a kid. Although I guess looks can be deceiving. Why did they have to come when Calliope died? And they did it right away too. Kind of suspicious, if you ask me. Hermes and Envy, I think. Uh, I ran into none other than Hermes in the under, at the underworld. I'm pretty sure they didn't follow me there. They were just vibing, you know, for an idol. They didn't seem that bad. I don't think Hermes is at all responsible. I really do think they're just vibing. Aphrodite, we only got to see at the chorus, like, briefly. Aphrodite is the goddess of love, and I I can believe it. She has that sparkle when you look at her. Like she's one of those old-timey movie stars. Old-timey? <laughs> I don't know if I would say that to her. Uh, all glamour and presence. I bet if she walks into a room, everyone stops what they're doing to stare at her. Why she's part of the chorus, I have no idea. She seemed kind of quiet and sad, like she's busy writing some kind of teary, uh, teary ballad in her head and not really listening to what's going on around her. 
If Aphrodite is behind Calliope's death, then she hides it super well. Maybe you just naturally learn how to be a great actress after thousands of years or so. How would I know? Freckles. Panda, good night. Thanks for hanging. I don't know much about this Paul. He's kind of the only guy on the course. But he didn't say much of anything until he kind of defended me. I guess. At least he dis disagreed with the you need to die verdict. I guess I owe him that one. If I actually owed him... If I actually owed anyone for giving me an extra week before they killed me. Not so sure about that. Athena uh, introduced Paul as the god... I'm calling him Paul now, by the way. As the god of prophecy, but I'm... Not sure exactly what that means. Don't prophets wear long robes and speak in big, booming voices? This one looked less like a god and more like a surfer who crashed on the beach after a party still hasn't found all of his clothes. Could he have killed Cal? I can't take anything for granted when it comes to these people. I went to Calliope's apartment, and who should I find there? Paul. Sitting there in the dark. In a room that he obviously had... In a room that had obviously been turned inside out by somebody searching for something. He says he didn't do it and that he was there mourning Calliope. They were close for a long time, it seems, but a rift began between them a couple of years ago that never quite healed. Was it the kind of rift that might lead to her murder? For one, he keeps saying that helping me will do more harm than good. What does that even mean? According to him, his prophecies lock you into your fate as soon as you hear them which could be good or bad, I guess. Apparently, they're not always 100% clear, so maybe he's right. Maybe it's better not to know. Wait, that's so interesting. Prophecies lock you into your fate as soon as you hear them. That's an interesting concept. He seems like a pick me. <laughs> like once you hear the prophecy, because you heard it, it is your fate. It's locked in. Thankfully, Paul did have another way to help me, namely through a teenage computer whiz that lives in his dump of a home, the Oracle, or just Oracle, as she insists that is just her handle. She found out that Cal's apartment was owned by Persephone, so we're off to her nightclub to ask why. Oh, these are, yeah, in chronological order. Uh, wow, seeing Paul and Persephone biting each other's heads off was really eye-opening. Do all the idols hold grudges against each other like this? If so, it's no wonder one of them got murdered. Paul, Paul brought me to see Persephone, but who do you think almost tanked the entire thing? That's right, he did. He got all big and angry, and he was about to start hurling thunderbolts and then stormed out of the underworld like an angry child. I still can't believe it. Um... Hmm, I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Okay, that's good info. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that uh, Calliope is... This is now the second or third idol that Calliope was beefing with towards the end. Like, that's mm, kind of sus, right? Like, why was she having so many problems? Second, why was she having so many problems with people? Athena. Athena is supposed to be the goddess of wisdom, but how does she, how does that work? Is it a power? Does she just know things? She's supposed to be really powerful, but how exactly? Mostly, she just seemed like my mom or anyone's mom. Maybe that's what she is to the idols. The mom who looks after them and keeps them going. She was all smiles and was even super sweet when she told me that I had to die. Like, it would be no big deal. That makes her a scary mom. Like, the kind that demands to speak to the manager. <laughs> Chat, you called it, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You've literally been calling her Karen. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's the cool mom. Or maybe she'll keep smiling while she smothers me with a pillow. Because she's thousands of years old and I'm basically nothing in comparison. And maybe she's killed Calliope. And that makes me an annoyance because that means her murder didn't quite take. But then, why did she give me the chance to prove myself? If she's really wanted me dead, couldn't she have just said, nope, no boat, let's nip this in the bud. Athena really seems like the type who would do that, right? Idols are so confusing. Persephone laughed when I asked if Athena might be a suspect, like the suggestion was ridiculous. 
Athena's entire existence is based on protecting the idols, and apparently she'd never break her own rules. She sounds so fun. Murder when your murder doesn't take. Persephone. What did Athena say about Persephone? She's the queen of the underworld. I had to look it up, but basically the idols ver that's the idols version of hell. Does that mean it's a real place? Oh, okay, this is before we saw the underworld. Um... Whatever it is, I think it's pretty clear Persephone hates me, and not just because she thinks I'm a murderer, because they all, don't they all think that? It feels personal. It does feel personal, or it did feel personal. Gosh, isn't Persephone a peach? After biting my head off, she refused to answer any questions or be remotely helpful until and unless I first engage her in battle. Musical battle, which I did, because apparently that's something I do now. Sadly, she didn't have a lot to add. She gave Calliope the apartment, they haven't spoken in maybe two years. Seems like the idols do this a lot. So yeah, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Things got ugly between Paul and Persephone pretty quickly until Paul stormed out and I let him go. You're dismissed, Paul. You're dismissed. I mean, sure, two minutes before Persephone wanted my head on a platter, now she was willing to help. Isn't that what he brought me here for? So she's my new ally now, I suppose. She says that if an idol is really behind Calliope's death, and was able to cover up their involvements, finding them might be difficult, which you know, great. Great, Pan. This idol's name is Pan Half Goat and Half Sex on Wheels. Where's the note where he talks really loud? Actually ran into Pan again in the underworld just by coincidence, so he says, hanging around in the very place his tip eventually led me to. Granted, the underworld is his kind of place, but what are the odds? Pan agreed to help me find Persephone, who either didn't know I was at the club or was avoiding me. This place is huge. And this time, he didn't ask for anything in return. I just had to bat my eyelashes at him and say, pretty please. Neither Paul or Persephone seemed, uh, seems co to consider Pan of much of a suspect. He's not a murderer, according to them, even though his sudden involvement is really suspicious. Why'd I say what, chat? I met Eros, the god of sex, just hanging around the underworld, looking like a Turkish, a Turkish wrestler taking a quick break from... his... BDSM dungeon. He was nice, though. It kind of wrapped up his own problems. If kind of wrapped up in his own problems. Hardly seemed like the killer type, but what do I know? All right. Okay. All right. Good lore. Good info. Got to digest all of this. Need that eye tracker. Chat, you need the eye tracker, I think. I think. Damn, I can't believe Calliope's gone. Hermes was there rather quickly. Hermes? They would be the dark horse here because they really seem innocent. They are literally just like, I don't know. You know? I don't think it's Hermes. But that would be, that would be the perfect murder. Bro, I just work here? <laughs> okay, well. Chaotic neutral. Oh, really? My mom just asked what... Spooky Sock, if your mom's interested, just tell her to uh, exclamation stray gods and click the link to get started, download the game, and she could totally learn for herself. And this really fun, first of its kind, musical RPG playthrough where your choices affect the game. Speaking of which, that concludes the sponsored portion of this stream. Uh, shouts out 
to Stray Gods for sponsoring the stream. Thank you, Humble Games. Uh, I'm gonna leave the command active for the rest of the evening, although it won't be on a timer. Uh, they, listen, they, they knew what chat they were sponsoring, I guess, that, you know, targeted advert. Uh, GG's, by the way, uh, this is the first release of some from Summerfall Studios, which is the studios that made this game based out of Melbourne, Australia, by the way, just wanted to include that. Um, we, I actually, I'm going to continue this game. We a hundred percent will finish this game. And I know sometimes I'm like, we're going to finish the game. And then I don't, we're going to find who killed Goliope probably by next week. So stay tuned. This, uh, playthrough will make it onto YouTube. Uh, not right now. We have plans, uh, to play games with pals very soon. So we have to be off for that, but, um, very, very fun and unique playthrough. I've literally never even seen a game that exists like this. So very cool to, uh, to get to play one and then also to have them sponsor. So really, really cool. Evil, there's still plenty of time. A lot of golf left to play for Resident Evil and for Final Fantasy and for Stray Gods. We'll get them all done. A lot of golf. Um, but yeah, if you do uh, download the game by clicking the link, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and if you are here just to watch, just uh, stay tuned until probably next week and we'll finish this, this game and we simply go again. Oh, yeah.